hello guys and welcome to this video um in this video i'll show you how to create the shadium node step by step for completely free at least for the first um one month so um the site is linenode.com so once you open linenode.com just go ahead and do the necessary um registration very simple after that you want to tap on create node and this is going to come up and you want to scroll down to ubuntu 22.04 want to select region you can just scroll down these regions and then for the cpu let's go for shared cpu let's go with um, this um the same 80 dollar per month but we intend to run this month for only one month and the first one month is completely free so that is that then for this we go with uh let's call this shadow and let's pick a password and you just leave everything here the way it is and go to create node so as you can see so as you can see here this yellow um, circle is still reading And it's because it's booting so as you can see we have it all running the next thing you want to do is you want to download tanios from play store so let us go ahead and download that so let's install tanios so guys um as you can see i have downloaded tanios so um here you want to use tanios on multiple devices you tap that and um, you continue and then you want to create an account as you can see <coughs> so um you want to tap on the plus sign here so you want to tap on new host so um after you've written the shadow node you want to copy the ip address from the vps we created earlier and paste in um, this uh space here as you can see this is the ip address so just copy it and paste it here save it so um the next thing you want to do is you want to tap on this shadow node here and um, this is going to come up you want to continue and we are here so um the next thing we want to do is we're going to be imputing some commands so the only time you impute a command it's when you see this root at localhost if you don't see this please do not put any command even though you're going to scatter this thing so once you see this showing we're going to put the first command don't worry i'm going to be leaving everything all the commands you need i'll leave them in the description of this video and i'll leave them on my telegram so that you can just copy them and paste them so the first command I'm just going to be pasting the first command now so the command is still running so just wait for it to run to complete running So the next code you want to run is install core then you want to paste your second code and enter so this one is done as you can see so the third code 
is uh, we want to put the third code don't worry everything will be in the description and in my telegram group so we just copy and paste them so you enter so when you see this you know it's ready you want to paste the next code and you enter and it's asking do you want to continue after this operation 287 MB of additional disk space will be used do you want to continue so you want to enter Y on your keyboard and hit enter Let's enter. Enter. And the next thing we want to check the version of Docker that we installed. Let's paste this code and enter. So just go ahead and paste the code and enter. So once it's showing this, you want to enter the next code enter so now you paste the next code and enter now you just go ahead and paste the next code and enter and it's asking you by running this installer you agree to allow the shadowing team to collect this data of course you want that yes and enter Again, you say, do you want to run the web-based uh, dashboard? You want to do that? Yes. Enter. And then you say, set the password to access the dashboard. So you choose your password. After you've um, typed in your password, any set of numbers, you enter. So now you don't, don't write anything, just tap enter again. So next is going to show you something like this. You don't type anything, just tap enter again. So when you see this, you tap enter again. So what base directory should you node use? Again, don't type anything, just tap enter. So let us let it load. This part could actually take a while so as you can see we are now finally ready to type in as you can see the root at localhost is showing this um, green bar is showing that means we can type in now everything has loaded so i'll just paste in the next code and enter and i'll paste in the next code and I'll enter and now we are going to paste in the command that is going to start our node so you enter so what you want to do is you want to copy this address https node dot so you want to copy this address After you copy, you want to go to any browser that supports an extension, just paste it and then go and copy your IP address that you use for your VPS and paste it here where it says node IP address. So let's take that out. So you can see we have our IP address in here. So let's enter. So this one is going to come up that our connection is not private. So you want to tap on advance and you want to proceed.
Now we are going to impute a password, that number password that we created. So guys, after you impute your password, you're going to have something like this showing. You want to tap on maintenance. Now, what you want to do next is you want to go and open your Metamax and add the Sphinx, Sphinx network. So once you're here in your Metamax, you want to add network, tap on add and you want to add manually so um, I'm going to leave the information for you to copy and paste here as you can see we've added the Shadion Sphinx uh, network successfully so now what you want to do is you want to request for uh, the test token so you want to copy your address so I will leave a link to uh, the Shadium Discord so you can go there and request for test token. You want to tap on the faucet and the request. So for you to request, you just type in slash. Slash, slash faucet, your address. So as you can see, <coughs> funds have been transferred to your address. <coughs> so as you can see, we've received 15 SHM. Now let's go back to the browser. So you want to connect your wallet. So the next thing you want to do is you want to start node. Now you want to um, add stake. As you can see, it has imported your address and everything. So just put the amount of um, SHM you want to stake. Let's take um, 11. And let's take. So you just confirm. As you can see, stick successful, and I think that's pretty much it. We have done all what is required. So, guys, um, that is basically it. As you can see, we have sticked eleven. So, if you have issue with this, as you can see, I have to change mine to um, desktop view. As you can see, for me to be able to stick successfully i tried it on the mobile view but it was giving me some issues so i changed it to the desktop view and i'm able to do it now successfully so as you can see my node status is on standby even though it's on standby that means you successfully done it and um, only 150 nodes will run at a time, so it's going to be rotating among the, the node runners, 150 at a time. So when I come next and check, I'm going to see that I start working. So guys, this is basically it. Um, I know this video <laughs> is a long one, but um, any question, just leave it in the description and follow me on Twitter and on Telegram if you find this video helpful. Peace out.